pray for we pray for today's lesson that it may be successful. We may have no network. Network. I may try to understand whatever I'll be told. Anita. Yes, please. Anita. Um, there is this this other person who has who has way Rio U L O O Anita. We seem to have lost Anita. Mm. Hmm. We seem to have lost. We seem to have lost Anita. Um. We can take on another person, I think. No, she has already finished. She had finished. Yeah? Mm. Anita, thank you. You can uh, you can give us uh, you can share the screen. Someone who has um I, I think share? they are still in you can share the screen. There is someone who has a uh, way. And they are on, on admission all. We admission all, eh? Yes, we admit all, but we need first of all to check. There is someone who is not a part of us, I think. No, don't worry. Those ones we are going to sort out that let the person speak to us. But let's go on. Meanwhile, we are going to see what to do. The screen is already sharing. Nyanze Pejigani. Mm, you scroll down. Scroll to the parts of the photograph. Tuko. Ah, Paul. Oh, good morning, girls. We welcome you for this lesson. We, 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 it is our prayer that uh, you are well. <laughs> Has been a while since we met last week. Bless God for His His mass upon us. We are continuing with our lesson. One of the ways of studying geography, which is photograph interpretation. Someone has uh, has not muted the microphone and there is feedback. No, Mr. Mangeni, it is okay. Those ones, oh. you see, for class control, everyone, we're not going to, to mute people. Anyone okay. whose microphone will uh, come through, if they are not given permission to speak, we shall block from class. That's a simple way. Much better. Yes. Uh, just a reminder, girls, that uh, we are looking at introduction to geography and one of the topics we are looking at is ways of studying geography and the ways of studying geography we looked at uh, studying geography through map reading we are now looking at studying geography through photograph and photograph interpretation we can also study geography through statistics, manipulating, playing around with the statistical data. We shall get to know that. And we can also get or study geography through field work. So we had uh, looked at uh, a photograph, the meaning of photographic interpretation and the, uh, why we study, why it is necessary for us to look at photographic interpretation. 
we had looked at the types of photographs and we say that there are generally two types of photographs, ground photographs and aerial photographs, ground photographs, photos that are taken when the cameraman is standing on the ground, the same ground with the objects. And we say that ground photographs are classified into three, ground horizontal, ground oblique, and ground close up. Before us, that slide, um, slide 10, it is a, a ground horizontal photograph. We say that we don't have a horizontal ground photograph, but we have a ground horizontal photograph. The alignment, the arrangement of the words matter. After looking at uh, the ground photograph, we also went ahead to look at uh, the aerial photographs, photographs that are taken from the aircraft in the in the air, or from the balloon carrier. It, it could be what we call uh, satellite images. And you remember in our second lesson, we said that um, uh, things that are drawn and produced on paper are seen and drawn from above. These things are known as maps. Therefore, aerial photographs in slide eight and uh, slide nine, these ones were taken from above and uh, those are the aerial. We say that aerial photographs are classified into two. Uh, aerial vertical photographs, which is in slide eight and the aerial oblique photographs, which is in slide nine. Hope you are looking at the summaries you made during our lessons and, uh, and even uh, the slides I'm referring to on your screen. On slide 10, we, it gave us the parts of the photographs and um, someone to help us identify these parts of the photographs, the first one, the second and the third. Uh, Etho Mirembe. Etho Mirembe, unmute and oh, Etho Mirembe is still in the waiting room. Uh, uh, unmuted. So you can uh, pick on these ones who have put up their hands. <laughs> we have some people, we have uh, Charity. This one, Adeke so Faith and uh, Charity, you unmute and give us the parts. Adeke. And mute and give us the three major horizontal parts of the photograph. Three horizontal parts of the photograph. Adeke Faith, Manuela. Unmute and talk to us. Okay. Adeke. Charity Shalom. You can unmute and talk to us. Oh, what is happening? Is there a problem with you girls? Watch an idea. Teacher, I can't. Adeke, Adeke Faith, eh? I cannot. Okay, Adeke un Faith cannot yeah. speak. I have unmuted her. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, the Adeke. part. There are yes. three major horizontal parts. Yes, the three major parts. We have the right, the middle, and then the left. Oh, are those horizontal or vertical? And they can refer to your work. Teacher. Oh, I'm talking like, okay, horizon, like the horizontal parts. We have the foreground. The horizontal, uh -huh. this one. We have the foreground, the yeah. middle ground. And yeah. then the background. And the background. Um, the next one was who, Mr. Nashmo? The next person that we have, we have our default. Our default. Our default guide us and take us through the, the nine parts. The nine parts of the photograph. One. 
the nine part mm -hmm. subdivisions of the photograph. Okay. The nine subdivisions okay. of the photograph. Good. Hmm. We are good and fail to eat. Don't know. Only eight about two slides. Don't know. It's okay, trend in, trend in, trend in, trend in. Yes. Our default leader through the nine parts subdivisions of the photograph. Having gotten the three major horizontal, the foreground, the middle ground, and the background, ground, we need to know the nine subdivisions of the photograph. As shown on, on the slide. I kindly request Bananash, you can uh, unmute. Our default is unmuted. But she's not talk to, be talking to us, therefore you can take on another person. Okay. Is it okay if I can mute on the answer? Pardon? Is it okay if I can mention the nine parts? Yes, go ahead. That's a question on the ground, it's okay. We have the left background, left middle ground, left foreground, middle background, middle middle ground, middle foreground, right background, right middle ground, and the right foreground. Thank you, thank you so, so much. And from Narode. Narode. Um, teacher, I had the same answer. I'll do for the next part, maybe. Okay. So I'll request if your answers have been given, you lower your hands. Eh? So I was going to lower right now. Okay. Thank you. So from the nine parts of the photograph, we realize that uh, we can get locate features in those different parts. We can locate these features in the different parts. Last time we said that the math is now in the lefty background, the highland top, the mountain top or peak is in the middle of the background. We have the road which is on the right foreground. We have settlements covering the whole of the middle ground. We have the flat land in the foreground settlements in the middle ground even the banana plantations are in the middle ground part of it is in the right middle ground another one is in the middle of the middle ground um we have uh, terraces on the hill which 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 are in the left middle ground and in the middle of the middle ground we have the trees on the hill which is in the middle in the right middle ground and uh, from there we move to we move to this among you Okay, Nakarema, what are you saying? You are unmuted. Nakarema, come in. Uh huh. Yes, Nakarema. Your hand is up. Sorry, I just left, uh, sorry, I just left my hand. Pardon? Okay, Chirabo. Chirabo Hope. Chirabo. Excuse me, sir, may I please repeat the question? Please do. May I please repeat the question? Okay. Mashima. Um, 
Sirawa, you unmute. He's going to repeat the question, eh? Yes. Okay. Kindly lower the hands. Okay. Someone in. Mr. Mangin. Hello. Yes, Emma. Okay, so we can continue on that mm. slide now. But Chirabo uh, was saying that uh, if, you could, if you could repeat the question, eh? I don't know whether you, you had asked a question. The, the, the question has been answered. We have identified the three major grounds. Uh, we have identified the foreground, the middle ground. The middle ground is that part where we have the settlements, where we have the banana plantation, where we mm. have the electricity poles, where we have the midi tree. There is a, a, a tree in between there. Then the background is that behind the part where there is a, a mountain. And those three parts are given by the red lines. Then we subdivided again the, the photograph into three vertically uh, with the yellow lines. And this gave us nine parts. We said last time that that part on the right hand is a, the right part of the photograph. This other part is on the left and we have the middle. Therefore, we have nine subdivisions of horizontal photographs. You can slide down. That is what we have been talking about, the three major parts of the ground photographs and uh, uh, aerial photographs are also divided into three and nine parts. However, Aerial Just a minute, a, a minute, a minute. Chirabo, hope unmute, otherwise we'll block you. Yes, I'm unmuted. From I'm class, because un your voices are trying to go through. Mute, mute, mute your microphone. Mr. Man, slide down, slide. Uh, next one, that is about uh, the ground photographs. Next. Mm. The next slide. That's the yes. So we have uh, the aerial photographs, parts of the aerial photographs. And we said instead of saying ground, uh, foreground, middle ground, uh, background, the way you are given the photograph you end up having the top part, the middle part, and the bottom part. Then you will again subdivide it into nine subdivisions, where you will have the top right, the top left, the bottom right, the bottom left, the middle or of the middle part, and the middle uh, the left middle part and the right middle part. And the middle part will remain middle of the middle bottom or the bottom of the... So today our lesson is supposed to be on drawing a landscape sketch. Girls, I remember promising to upload the work on the Google Classroom and I still uh, stand with my words that uh, after this lesson, uh, before the close of business today, you will have that work complete because I wanted to upload after today's lesson so that when we get the exercise, it covers even the work we are covering today. So today, our subtopic under photographic interpretation is drawing a landscape sketch of a photograph. Drawing a landscape sketch of a photograph. 
Mr. Nashmol, you take us back to the slide above. The one we were, were that one. Yes, someone. Number 10. Girls, we realized last time we shared identifying features. And uh, in this photograph, we identified in the middle, in the right foreground, a man made feature there is known as a road. Mr. Nashmal, help me be pointing at what, uh, 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 the, what I'm talking about. That point there is the, the right foreground and the man-made feature there is a road. I hope they're able to see the cursor. We cannot have them more muted. We will have one at time speaking, they'll put up hands. Okay, we go on. The, the whole foreground, the whole foreground, that one, including where the road is, that is a flat land, stroke, gently sloping land. In the middle of the middle ground, middle of the middle ground, there is the vegetation types. I am saying vegetation types, and we want to see which type of vegetation is in that part. And we are looking at it as a tree or trees, that one there. In the middle of the middle ground, there is also settlement. Settlement is represented by buildings. In the left middle ground, left middle ground, there is settlement. There is that building there. In that left middle ground, we have terraces on the hill. That part where the casa is. Then in the right middle ground, right, exactly, we have a settlement because there is a building. Then we have vegetation type known as the trees. Trees, those ones where the casa is, and just Behind there, where the casa is, there is another hill there. Those gentle slopes. On these gentle slopes of the hill, we have trees there. We are not using the word vegetation. We are breaking vegetation into simpler words. Mr. Mr. Nashmol, you can come to the left foreground. Left. In the left foreground, we have vegetation type known as grass. That one there, grass. We can also stroke it as scrub. Grass or scrub. A tree is a vegetation type. Grass is vegetation type, but grass is not the same as tree, neither is the tree the same as grass. So we are looking at the different vegetation types. We can move to, to the middle, to the lefty middle ground. Left middle ground, we have a hill. There is a hill there. And on that hill, we have two, three actual relief features there. We have man-made features known as terraces. 
we have man-made features known as farmlands or cropland on the terraces. The whole of that land is cultivated. We have a relief feature known as a steep slope where those terraces are. And because of the steepness of the area, the man had to construct to make terraces to control water speed, erosion. And on that, in that very area, because we have steep slopes, there is also another relief feature known as the hill. In the mid, in the left middle ground. Then we go to the lefty backer ground up. In the lefty backer ground, we have a man-made feature on a hilltop known as a communication mast. There is a communication mast there on the hilltop. Someone was asking, now, teacher, what is the relationship? You, you, you say the, um, we, the photographic interpretation helps us to understand the relationship between man and, and the, the environment. And I remember asking the younger lady whether the, co whether the hill was on top of the communication mass or the communication mass was on top of the, on the top of the hill. Consequently, she answered that the, it is the communication mass which is on top of the hill. I remember in that lesson last week on, um, on Wednesday, on Thursday, one of us told, uh, reminded us that the communication mass is on top of the hill for trapping waves. So that is the relationship there. Now, in the background, the whole background, we have a highland, a mountain there. It is not only in one point, discovering the whole of the background, but the, the mountain peak, the mountain peak is in the middle of the background, the middle background. When we looked at, uh, we tried to look at your responses on Google Classroom, someone was trying to, to ask I number was this someone like called I number was I think was asking why don't we divide the the behind that mountain there is that part of the sky with the clouds having blue color behind there. That is not part of this the land. We are dealing with the land, but that part, the sky is above, it is over the land. So it is behind the object. It is behind the very last object, which is it, the mountain. So that part is known as the horizon. Having identified features uh, on this mountain, and we realize that on that mountain, it has a vegetation, it has trees, though we cannot see them properly, but the color brings it clear. When you can be observant, you will realize that uh, the hilltop has a grayish whitish color, the hilltop. But when you come down, the color is green, which is representing vegetation. But we are not going to look at that since we have identified and noted the relief features and uh, not that only the physical features and the many, many features in this photograph. We want to now draw a landscape sketch. Before us is a photograph. We want to draw a landscape sketch of that photograph. So that when I give the exercise on the Google Classroom of another photograph, which is not this one, 
we shall have understood one a landscape sketch of a photograph must have a title which must be complete it must have a title and it must be complete showing all what is drawn and marked on that photograph for example a landscape scale. mr 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 national could you take us through the development of uh, of a title for a photograph for example assuming we say the draw a landscape sketch of the photograph shown and on it mark a name uh road settlement hill communication mass and vegetation what how would you develop the the title mr Actually, mr mangen i wanted to, I wanted to throw mangen this back. question back to the girls mr mangen exactly thank you yes sir mr mr mangen and the girls develop the can the girls develop the topic let us take this question let us take this question in the first place so that you develop a title from the question do a landscape sketch of the photograph shown draw a landscape sketch of the photograph shown and on it mark a name and on it mark and name roman number 1 a road roman number 2 on each mark a name okay okay a road roman number 2 settlement roman number 3 communication mass number 4 Oh, there is a hand. We, there is a gap. There is a hand. Lost. There is lost a hand. Mr. Mangene. There is a hand. There is a hand. Natalie, can you please go? Natalie, can you please go ahead and ask your question? Or answer that? Help and mute. Natalie. Um, Natalie, can you answer the question? Mr. Nasimol? Mr. Nasimol, are you there? I'm there. I'm Yes. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, Sophie. I, could you repeat the question? Yes, please. Could you okay. please repeat the question? No. How do you want somebody to skip sketch? Pardon? Mr. Samogere, if you can go on. Can you can you design another that topic? Can you design the title of four, the landscape sketch you are going to draw? That's what you are saying. You said draw a landscape sketch song on the photograph. And you are saying on it mark and name the following. 
one, the hill, the highland, the mastic, settlement, mm. two vegetation types, and the road. So can we develop a topic from that? Thank you. You're welcome. Develop a topic for us here. Topic can we develop? Yes, sir. Naluvega, yes. you're unmuted. Please give us a title. Naluvega. No, I, I actually wanted to ask a question, but I wanted to repeat the instructions for the activity but then they were repeated okay thank then you you lower your hand when you finish you lower your hand okay can we have nalure um teacher for me i think for the title can't you like mm. like in uganda we have like hill hilly places like a place that's near mountain elegon can't you base on that and give this place a title no we are using, no, we are, we are using... The, the question is dry landscape sketch dry landscape sketch of the area shown. So we want you to develop a title. You have been given the information needed, okay? Now, looking at this photograph, can you develop a title from the question that has been said? I hope that is clear. Is it clear? Girl, is it clear now? Mr. Nash, can you, yes, they are saying it is clear. Can you go ahead and speak not to have the answer so that we move on? Wow. Uh, teacher, I think uh, the title I've come up with is a map showing vegetation types, man-made features, relief features, and settlement. Okay, we're going to give reactions to that because you're saying a map. We are going to react to that. Let's first hear what uh, Natalie, uh, she is called Naila. She has a lot of the hand. Okay, we, let's look at Nam Tebi Maria. Nam Tebi. Teacher. Nam Tebi. Teacher. Ah, Nam Tebi. Yes, go ahead. Teacher. Yes, go ahead. If I say a landscape sketch showing mm -hmm. natural and man made mm -hmm. pictures. Okay. Slightly. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, teacher, can I say um a landscape sketch? Uh -huh. A landscape sketch, uh-huh. A landscape. Yes, go ahead. A land a landscape sketch showing the mm. showing the physical and human geography in the area. Thank you for trying. Thank you. Yes, another person. Yes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Nasimo, your network, guys, it is bad. Your guys, your network is not clear. You're not clear, guys. No. Please. Yes. My title, yes, go ahead. My title, my title yes. is a landscape, a landscape sketch. Okay, a landscape sketch. Showing mm -hmm. relief and man-made features. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I've got a from Lungkuse, okay? Yeah, thank you, Lungkuse. Mm. 
I see a hand from uh, Nasolo. Okay, Nasolo, go ahead. Nasolo. I planned on saying uh, okay. mm -hmm. uh, land, it's okay. a landscape sketch of a photograph okay. show, mm -hmm. showing uh, okay. vegetation, okay. human settlement, and other okay. physical human Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so okay, much. So I think, girls, what think we so. can see, it's as more that you can go on. I think from there we can put all things together and then we come with a, a clear title. The girls, I think they have contributed and then we can come up with something better than that. We can improve on what they have given us. So we may say that the land sketch of the photograph showing the, the highland area, comma, the hill, comma, that the uh, vegetation types, comma, and the road. That's going to make more sense. So instead of saying man-made, man-made futures and live futures. No, we, we need to mention them in the title to make it complete. That's when it will make a sense. Landscape sketch of the photograph showing the road, comma, settlements, comma, the highland, comma, the hill, and vegetation types. I think mm. I'm done with that. Mm. Yes, and actually someone else can also say that it's a landscape sketch of the area shown in the photograph mm. because we are seeing this whole area uh, in the mm. photograph. And mm. uh, you now you say showing, you indicate the features that have been uh, asked for. While mm. we also had someone simply saying showing man-made features and uh, and physical features that is also uh, very fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from there, we want to move on to drawing because you have already presented the title uh, for your for your for your landscape sketch. Now the question is, how do we draw? Uh, this uh, landscape sketch. I hope you guys are able to, you've seen the photograph. I want to uh, stop sharing this and then uh, lead us through the, a few steps of drawing and you'll be able to complete. Allow me and share this, then I share the whiteboard. Okay, now here I know that uh, we've, uh, We've written our title already, which is uh, in capital block letters, is a landscape, a landscape uh, sketch of the area shown in, I hope everyone is able to see my screen. Mm. Yes. In the photograph. Uh, showing the man, man made and the physical uh, features. Okay, so that is just add the word selected. Mr. Nash, add the word selected. Okay. Mm. So showing. Showing uh, the selected. Selected. Showing the selected uh, man made and uh, physical features. I hope uh, the girls are able to see the title. Yes. Allow me to change the color for, uh, for visibility of uh, the title. I hope that is now clear. Mm. I need to get feedback from the girls because I see many hands up. So from there, what we do, because we are now, yes, please. Mm. 
Yes, Mr. Semogerele, you are saying something. I, I was looking. No, 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 no. I was looking for guys who are putting up their hands. I don't know because I can't see them here. So they are saying it is okay. Can we continue? Okay. Then, uh, mm. because remember, this is an area of a photograph, which is called, it is an area. So we must be in position uh, to have to have a frame. So what we do is we also draw our our frame of this area of the photograph. Remember, it is uh, rectangular, so you cannot draw a square in an area where the, the whole uh, area is rectangular. So that is our uh, that is our frame that we have. And then we are supposed to, uh, to show the heels. So in this case, when you look at our photograph, it was divided into three parts. Now we have at, in the background, you must relatively position the features. So we have our heel. Let me just change the color format here. So so that uh, it becomes a bit visible. Mr. Nasuma, before, before you go into that, yes, guys, let us know that the landscape sketch, it must be almost the same size as we have it on the paper. You're not supposed to make it too big. You're not supposed to make it too small. It's supposed to be an appropriate landscape sketch. You draw as you see it. You are using your eyes to act as the pen. Then they transfer that knowledge into your hand and into the pencil, and then you do it on paper. So it must be almost the same size. I think that will be a clear. Yeah, and actually we are, we, are, we are drawing the pictures the way they appear, the way you see them. Yes. Uh, this is different from uh, the title one person gave that it's a, a map because a map shows the tops when you see features from above, but this is a landscape sketch. The word landscape should guide you to know that we are only showing uh, the tops. So when you look at the photograph, we have a mountain in the background in relative position. I indicate that uh, mountain and it extends all through uh, the background. And then uh, somewhere we have this other uh, hill that has the terraces and it uh, gently slopes towards. Miss, uh, Mr. Nasimo, Mr. Nasimo, yes, yes, I mean, is Mr. Mangin back? Is Mr. Uh, Mangin back? His hand is up. Let me see what. Okay. Mr. Mangin. Yes, Mr. Mangin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh. I'm having feedback from your side. You will need to relocate from any nearby gadget you're using. Uh -huh. I am connecting okay. with so many gadgets and uh, I enter. You are clear now. And... I entered the class some time back. Unfortunately, I could not communicate to you. Okay. However, okay. Mr. Okay. Nashmal, you can okay. continue. Okay, so when you look any, at any, that... any, before before any contribution. Yes, uh, first of all, thank you so much. This is quite interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Girls, the two titles are okay. The one before us and even the one with the girls were giving showing the different uh, items as given in the question. Thank uh, you so much. So you, so you uh, can choose on the one you, but you need to be very careful when you are stating the uh, uh, photograph of uh, man-made and physical features. Uh, you need to be very careful and know uh, uh, when I say relief features, uh, it does not mean that uh, you are going to, to say also physical features. I may say gray landscape sketch and on it mark a name, uh, relief features. Uh, vegetation is a physical feature, but it's not a relief feature. So you need to be very careful. That is why it is much better to mention the questions in the, uh, to mention the items uh, to be included on a landscape sketch the way they are given to you. 
But when you use this general one, which is the best, you must be very careful. Um, secondly, uh, uh, when you are drawing, a photograph can be given to you in a, a landscape or a portrait. It should cover at least three quarters of the page. It is not supposed to be the same, but similar. Similar, not the same. If the photograph given to you is taking a shape of a rectangle, your frame should be a rectangle. If it, the, the frame of the photograph given to you is taking a shape of a square, your frame should be a square, but occupying or covering three quarters of the page. And lastly, uh, my submission is uh, the question is saying mark and name on it, mark and name. Draw a landscape sketch of the photograph on it, mark and name. What Mr. Nashmol is doing is marking features asked in there. Yeah, we are going to we are going to come there because we are first of all uh, we are we are, we are first of all drawing. And uh, I hope when uh, we all look at this, uh, what we have drawn for now, you actually see the appearance of what you saw in the photo. Now, those are our hills. Now, if we want to indicate, uh, we want to indicate the road. Now we have the road running from uh, right, uh, the uh, middle of our ground. And this is how our- Mr. Mr. is a hand. Yes. Continue doing there is a hand. Uh, Chirabo, go ahead and ask your question. Chirabo? Chirabo, ho. Chirabo? Chirabo, can you unmute yourself and, and ask your question? I hope you have lost her. Uh, we've lost her. Okay, so I have drawn the road there. Now we want to, I'm going to represent a few so that uh, the rest will be in position to complete. Now, right here, we have, uh, a, uh, we have a communication must. Of course, the water yes, says, Chirabu. I want, I want, Chirabo, is she on? She needs to be unmuted, eh? Chirabu, yes, 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 Chirabu. Please go ahead and unmute her. Okay. Chirabo. Yes, Chirabo, talk to us. I, excuse me, teacher. What did the yes. previous teacher mean by three quarters? Meaning that the landscape sketch must not cover the whole page, but just three quarters of the three page. Three quarters. Three quarters of the page, not yes. the whole page. Because you are not drawing actual, you are drawing a sketch. So something which is similar. Something which is similar to that. Is it clear now, Shirabo? Yes, okay, thank you. you. And the title, the title and the frame should be on the same page. The title and the frame should be on the same page. The type, the title should be at the top, then the frame, the way Mr. Nashmol has given it to you. Mr. Nashmol, you can continue. Okay, so I've represented a communication must. Then I want to represent uh, a building because we have uh, one right, uh, right here. I can simply draw a structure of, uh, of a building. Let me place it at the uh, right position. Here, I have this structure of a building. I hope we're able to see it. Now, remember, you're, you're drawing the things the way they appear. Now, after you have drawn, you will uh, make sure you complete. Uh, right here, we also have, uh, we have a tree. We are drawing the things the way we see them. So from there, we can be able to name, because in the background, in the background, this one- There is a hand, see, is it? Yes. There is a hand from Vivian Sandra. Uh, Alema uh, Vivian. Yes, uh, Alema, speak to us. 
Um, excuse me, teacher. So what if yes. now I can't draw? Can I draw stick characters to still show what is there? Oh, I have to draw what exactly do you mean? what is there. What, 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 what do you mean by what if you can't draw? Like now, let's say a building is a little bit maybe complicated for me to draw. Can I at least bring out something like a building but not exactly Alema, what is on it? Alema, Alema is not complicated. Draw as you see it. It is simple, fine art. That's why you say these buildings are not complicated, okay? This simple art, you, you, I think you can draw. Okay, well, when you look at what I have drawn, eh? when you look at the nature Dave, of the Gladys, building, Gladys, a minute, uh, as she, be, be, before she comes in, uh, when you look at the building I have drawn, it is yes. uh, it may look a little different from what you saw on the, o, 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 on the photograph. Okay, but I've simply drawn a simple sketch of a building to show that's a house. Mm -hmm. Is it so, clear now? We can okay. have Nachi good there, and uh, later on we shall we shall have Nachi Nakariowa. Nachi good day. Good day. Yes. Um, teacher, like for example, like in the photograph, yes. like mm. the photograph there was maybe a car, and mm -hmm. in, instructed you to show the car that. Okay, like in the thing mm -hmm. instructor, there is no car. Should you put the car on? You should just do exactly okay. what they Thank you, Nachi. We, Thank you, Gladys. Nachi, Nachi good day. Nachi, Gladys, you follow the question. You include only the things they have asked you to do so. So do not smuggle any things which are not required. So just look at the question and indicate only what is required within that question. I think I'm clear on that one. Thank you. Yes. Now, I else, see a number of hands. I see a number of hands, but let them put uh, in the chat. You'll allow me. You'll allow me to first of all do the uh, the marking now because I'm, I'm I'm naming. Then we yes. open up for the okay. questions. Be, be, okay. Before before you name before you name, Mister uh, Geno, remember, guys, on the landscape sketch, you have the title, you have the flames, and the features required to be on that frame. Which means we don't have, we don't have, we don't have, we don't a have key. a key. There is no key. key. The key here is not required. We write on the, the landscape sketch. So no key is required. No key, no direction. Remember, this is not a map. A map, this is not on a map. So we need a title, the, the frame, that's all. And then what? The order markings must be done on the landscape sketch photo. I think I'm yeah, clear on that one. Simply put, we write inside the sketch we have drawn. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now uh, we saw in the background we have uh, this is a mountain or a highland. Eh? Mm -hmm. So that is already. Uh, named. Marked, we saw, marked and named. Actually. It is marked and named. Yes. Then here we have a, a tree. A tree. It is marked and named. and named. We are marking features by images, not symbols. And on those images, we name directly, as you can see. So there is a settlement there. Then mm -hmm. here, where we, where we had the road, uh, sometimes they might say communication routes, but you must yes. be specific. You so that is, what is, that is our, our road. Mm -hmm. that here, is we have a communication must. That's our communication must. Now, if you want a gentle slope, it is possible. You can write a gentle, uh, gentle slope. And in the foreground where we have the, the road, we can have flat land there. This is a flat, a flat land. So girls, you'll be able to complete, you continue, uh, you do this exercise. But that is now a fully, a fully drawn landscape sketch of the area, which is shown in the photograph, showing those uh, features that were asked for. So One, let us we don't the put question. a compass. So let's open no. the questions. No compass, no key. Features yes. are drawn in their relative positions using their images 
and they are marked directly. That is why yes. we don't need to have a key. These are not symbols that we need to interpret. And when you look at that uh, landscape sketch drawn before us and the photograph that we shared before, they are almost the same. They are not the same, but almost the same features are in their relative position. We can see settlement in the, in the foreground, in, in, in the middle ground, we can see gentle slopes, we can see flat land in yeah. the foreground, we can see the road mm -hmm. is in the right foreground, we can see the mountain okay. in the middle of the background. We can get back. Let's, let's open to a question. Yvonne is before, on bef already. Before, before, before you go to the question, before you ask, yes. now, the title and the sketch, they must be on the same page. If it is, if it is, if it is um, a landscape photo, you tilt your page so it can fit. If it is a portrait, the page must remain as it is. A portrait, you must the, the, the landscape you must tilt your page so it can fit. Then, true, some of us they will give you a, a picture. They will give you a photo. You cannot say to draw without giving you a photo. It is impossible. So we'll give you the photo and say, draw. OK, I think that is clear now. Yvonne. Um, teacher, the question yes. is, they say, mm. like when they were giving us the film to put in our landscape sketch, mm. they had put mm. the, this, the vegetation type. Mm. The vegetation type. Mm. Yes, there, there mm. is a tree. But in, in the photograph, there is also grass. But drawing grass is also oh. something. It changed. is also, OK. Vegetation type. vegetation type. Types. Vegetation type is in different forms. There are different types of vegetation. We have vegetation, forests. Forests are represented on a photograph as trees. We have vegetation as grass. We have vegetation as bushes. We have vegetation uh, thickets. You can see where he is marking. That is an area which is representing, uh, which is covered by grass as vegetation. Mm. So you look at the photograph and identify the different vegetation types. And you don't use the word vegetation, but you change it to that particular vegetation type. So if but, the question uh, says, Grass, you put there grass where grass is relatively positioned. Mr. Mangan, you can see that under grass we have short grass and then we have tall grass. Tall grass. Yes, yeah, short grass and tall grass under vegetation, under grass. Actually, for purposes, purposes of this photo, we just gave a demonstration of what is supposed mm. to be done. And girls, you must go back and enrich the information needed. Lunkuse, Lunkuse, please, you include only what is required, what I have asked you for. Do not include other features which are out of the question. Read the question, interpret the question, and please mark only those which have been required by the question. We have a few minutes. So there is uh, Naila. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. yes. That the photograph given in, includes a lake or river. Okay. Do you use map symbols? Do you use map, map symbols? symbols? We are not using symbols. We are using, uh, because if you use symbols, it will mean you need to have to interpret those symbols draw where the lake is and uh, uniformly shade the water body and write there a lake or a water body or a river. For example, if there was a lake in this area where you see the casa out and that's it, the extent of the lake, I would simply do that, okay? Exactly. And then I have the, 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 the just using the dashes I mark, then I'll yes. write there a lake, yes. as simple as that. Mm. You should Mr. Yes, sir. 
Mr. Mm -hmm. as you are concluding, can you, because I've seen there is a confusion, they don't understand what is a landscape sketch and a map. I think that's why we have the confusion. Oh, a landscape yes. sketch, we are dealing with the appearance of the land in it is nature or natural setting. A map is a representation of an object as seen and drawn from above. Therefore, a map, we only see tops of the features, and therefore on the map we use symbols, while on a photograph we draw actual features, images of those features the way we see them, because yeah. we are seeing them while we are on the ground and we are seeing them from a side. Narule. I think you are, it is time Just because to, I think we, 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 we handle one person or two, then we leave. Narule. Okay, Narule. Um, teacher, yes. um, like when you are labeling like the mountain communication mm. mess, mm. Um, and you, are you supposed to use a pencil or a pen? You use a pen. All the drawings should be in pencil. All and the, the writing writings, writings should be in pen. Um, be teacher. In pen. Yes. The communication mask here, mm. um, like like on the uh, photograph, it looked as if it was in the background, and then this one, it looked as if it's in the middle. No, it's Why? not. It was, it was in the middle of the left middle ground on top of that highland and not on the mountain behind. It was okay, on the you. left middle ground on top of that hill where we had the what the terraces mugabe michelle thank you teacher you're welcome um, yeah. remember we are drawing in relative position yes mugabe michelle last person you're not supposed to shed please no you, shedding no shedding shed required no shedding required no colors required Thank you. Was that Mugabe? Mm. To some reason, this is confused. I don't know what you are talking about. If you, that you are, if you are saying confused is a big word, make it simple. Mm -hmm. I was asked, I was asking, since yes. in the photo, like it had vegetation. Shamangeni said it had vegetation. So here mm. on the sketch, also like include that vegetation. If you cannot see that vegetation, at least at least we have seen we have the tree there, and then we have the grass. That is that is enough. They say any any uh -huh. vegetation type, that is enough. Don't go into stuff which you don't see. It was just explaining. And uh, the yes. vegetation actually, Mugabe, to let you know. On this photograph, we have the vegetation known as grass. On this uh, landscape sketch, we have a vegetation known as grass. On this landscape sketch, we have vegetation known as tree. So the word vegetation is a general term referring yes. to the plant cover on the earth's surface. Okay, Mr. Oh, I think we need to we need to go. Yes, the last two questions. The last two question, please. We want we need to go. Yes, Mm. I was asking if you would repeat the list of the things that you're supposed to include in the landscape sketch. Okay, uh, we are going to send it. We are, we are going to send we are going to send the questions so that you can be able go, to go. you go to the Google classroom and we give you the response to yes. all your questions. Put there your questions so that even you get the answers from there, even your friends can also be able to get the answers from there. We have okay. Sophie. Okay, sure. thank you for that. We, we, we have yeah, the 